Hello all, welcome to R&D Labs with me Rohan and today is a final video in the series of localization that we'll be covering. In today's video, we will be seeing how to flip the app language or rather swap between two languages at runtime without even restarting your app. So how do we do all this? Let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm going to continue where I left off in the previous tutorial in which we had created the localizable strings for uh, English, Spanish and Hindi and uh, we had created a control on my on the storyboard uh, which had a text box and a button you remember uh, we had a text box and we had a sign up button and in this tutorial what we're going to do is we are going to flip between languages if you see it is not always that a person would go into the uh, languages settings and change the uh, the iphone language to the desired language that he wishes maybe for certain apps he would need uh, the app to have a certain language so you can't just force the user uh, to kind of change the language uh, within his iphone to use your app for that language so this is a setting i'm talking about if you go into the simulator uh, and go into the settings section we have something called as uh, language and region okay so within the settings if you go and you have the iphone language so if you change your language from the default uh, language or to any other language then our application uh, used to change the language to that desired language so we had done this for uh, hindi uh, and uh, spanish in the previous tutorial so now what we're going to do is uh, at the launch of this app over here you'll be adding uh, two buttons the first button will have the english language uh, settings the other button will be in arabic so what we will do is we will flip the the app or rather we will change the app from the english language to the arabic language and vice versa when we have the arabic language set up and also we will be also seeing how to have the app in the RTL format. So uh, for certain languages like the Arabic or Hebrew, which is read from the right hand side. Okay, so you have the English, which is starting from the left hand side and we have Arabic and uh, Hebrew language, which is, I know it is written from the right hand side uh, of the page. So in this case, uh, we will be seeing how to use that as well. So seeing all this that we have to do today, uh, I don't personally believe to reinvent the wheel. So there is a good utility that is available within GitHub as a pod and it is called as the language manager. I'll just bring that up for you. So this is the, uh, the pod that I'm talking about and I've been using it for some time now and uh, it has actually given me good results in terms of simplicity of flipping between languages. It is not only uh, supporting the English and Arabic languages and it also supports many different languages so you don't need to kind of uh, restart your app. You can do this on runtime. So, so what we'll be doing is we'll be importing the pod file for the language manager into our project and then we'll be adding the language support or the localizable strings for the Arabic language so that our app is compatible to Arabic and uh, we will also see uh, how the RTL works for the Arabic language. And bear in mind, uh, for the RTL, we don't need the language manager to be there. Okay, the language manager is only needed if you want to flip or if you want to uh, kind of move from one language to the other without restarting your app. So this is the plan uh, for this tutorial. And first up, what we will do is we will be implementing the right to left language support for our application. All right. So let's go to the uh, properties of our project. And over here, as you can see, uh, the English language is a default development language. We have Hindi and Spanish from the previous tutorial. Uh, so we will be adding the Arabic language support as well for this. So let's go ahead and add Arabic. Where is it? Right here. And yes, everything selected. Just click finish. It will take some time. So the Arabic language is selected. And as you can see, we have a new localizable strings for Arabic language, uh, which is right here. And it says sign up, which is incorrect. We will have to uh, 
you will have to change this to Arabic. So we had done this for the Hindi language and the Spanish language in the previous tutorials. So let's go ahead and do that for the Arabic language. I will bring up the uh, Google Translate. Okay, and over here I will say sign up, which has got its own uh, Arabic translation. With my basic Arabic reading, it says uh, Sajjal. So I'll just copy this and I will paste it here. That's it. Okay, and I'll save this. So if I go to my view controller, I have already set up the, the key for the button, which is the key for button is a sign up. So if you go to localizable strings, the sign up over here, which will translate to such an okay. So this is what you got to do for setting up the RTL language compatibility for your application. <coughs> Let me go ahead and run this. But before that, I want to change the language of my iPhone simulator. So let me go ahead or rather I'll just do it after I run this app okay. okay so it shows sign up uh, the reason is because our iphone language is english so this is what i had said if uh, if i am a uh, arabic uh, reading person and i want this app to be uh, in arabic only this app to be in arabic you can't do that okay so uh, you will have to go back to the user settings and uh, you will have to go into the language and region and change the iPhone language from English to the desired language that is in uh, Arabic. So just select Arabic here and click change to Arabic. It's taking a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> okay, so uh, you have the language set up later on. So I just keep it right here and if I go here as you can see the app has uh, kind of changed itself from left to right to right to left format okay uh, this is in uh, support of the Arabic language change that we have done on the iOS app simulator in the language and region settings okay so uh, if you read this it is showing sign up and this is exactly what we have on the button okay so so now uh, what do you do uh, in case if the person wants to change the language to english at runtime okay so you don't want him to go back over here into the settings change the language and uh, go back to english okay so this is a tedious task isn't it so this will happen this will your your app will basically function but uh, this is not a good user experience so in that case, what you have to do is um, you will have to give him an option to change the language on the app itself. So for this, uh, let's go ahead and open up our storyboard and add two buttons, one for English and one for Arabic. So I open up my storyboard and I will just add in two buttons here. EN stands for English and uh, or Arabic I'll just change the language settings from English to Arabic and I will type it over here. okay so this is a for Arabic and I keep it right next to each other and this is it okay so uh, after we do this let's go and open up our assistant editor and create an action for this so let's go there and add, oops, 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 change the language and over here I'll say button underscore change English. Okay, and I will drag this for Arabic as well, button underscore change Arabic, will connect. And that's it next thing what I will do is I will have to add in the pod of the language manager okay so I will save this 
and I will go ahead and add the pod for the language manager. So let's open up the terminal. Go to CD. All right. So I'll just say for in it. Oh, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, so it should be uh, localize it. I'm so sorry. It should be within the project. And over here, go to pod in it. And it will have the pod file within that. So uh, let's go and open up the GitHub and we will copy the pod statement for the pod. It's right here. And I will open up the pod file for you. This is the one, and I'll just add the pod here and save it. Okay, now you will have to add in the pod install statement. I'll just run it. So, pod install. Hmm. So the pod is installed. One more thing you need to do is um, you will have to close in your project and open the XE workspace file. So once you opened up the XE workspace file, you'll be seeing that there is a pod project as well. And uh, let us keep it as it is. And your place of interest right now should be within the app delegate .swift class. So we will have to open that and we'll have to import the language manager class. So let's go ahead and do that the language manager underscore iOS. So after this, the next thing that you need to do is you need to set the app language. Okay, so we will have to do this within the did finish launching with options uh, function and uh, just make some room for yourself here and write uh, language manager dot shared default language is equal to dot device language okay so over here uh, you are free to set the default language for your app okay so what i've done over here is i have set the default language as what it would be if the user has selected the language from the languages and region settings okay so uh, if the person has selected hindi uh, the default language of the app will be hindi okay so you have uh, so so what uh, I can do is rather than having a default language over here, I can even put uh, say Arabic. Okay, I can even put any other language as I wish uh, as a default language for my app. Okay, and then the localization will also apply to that. So I just keep it as a default language, device language. Sorry, it was device language, and uh, I'll just leave it as it is. And next thing what you got to do is you need to go into the view controller that script class and import the language manager iOS class there also. So let's go and import language manager underscore iOS. Now next uh, we, we have two actions over here, one for the English language and one for the Arabic language. And now for the English language we have to add in a set language closure and we will have to pass in the english language along with the storyboards okay so let's go ahead and call that so let's write language manager dot shared dot set language okay and over here you can specify the language you want which is english which is similar to what we have in our action and we will have to add in the closure for it uh, and just write it as uh, in okay and we will have to pass in the storyboard okay so let's write let storyboard okay and the name of the storyboard that we have is main so let's write that as well UI storyboard which is with the name main okay and bundle is nil that's it and we will have to return that as well so return 
storyboard dot instantiate initial view controller and that's it next we will have to add the animation to it okay so let's write animation and view and in the view closure we will have to add in the view dot transform so let's write view dot transform and uh, we will be adding a uh, cg affine transform so this is a class for drawing 2d graphics so let's write cg affine transform and we will be adding the scale to it which is 2 and 2 respectively for x and y okay and after doing this just write view dot alpha is equal to 0 and that's it uh, value of optional sorry board must be oh uh, why is this a problem oh okay uh, i think i have added a capital b for storyboard all right so it looks okay to me and similarly we just do this for the arabic language as well and we will just pass an ar to this okay now uh, in our storyboard I just wanted to ensure whether things are all right or not. Yes, we have the two buttons and the action for that we have already written. And uh, for the view controller.swift class, we already have imported the language manager. And uh, within the action, we have specified uh, the language manager to change the language of the storyboard depending on the language that is selected. All right, let's give this a try and see. Oh, I don't want the iPod touch. I wanted my iPhone 11 Pro. Okay. All right, uh, let's see what we have here on the simulator. Okay, so the uh, okay, so the app is loaded, and we will just give it a try by flipping language. Uh, let's see for Arabic. Yes. The app has uh, kind of changed the behavior. It has gone from left to right to right to left, but the text within the uh, but the text on the sign up button hasn't changed. Why? Uh, it is because we have written this in the view controller. So let me just comment this out. But from the previous tutorial, uh, I think we have added this and also uh, if we go to our main dot storyboard we will have to change the text of the button okay so um, i think we should make it as sign underscore up just keeping in line with what we have written on the view did load method within our view controller i feel this is okay i'll just give it a try again Okay, let's flip around. Uh, so the English is okay and the Arabic also looks to be okay to me. So this is how you flip between two languages or rather multiple languages in your iOS application. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts, please reach me out in the comment section. I'll be happy to help as always. And also please, please, please like and subscribe to the channel and see you until next time. Cheers.